Good evening. So today we have this nice pile of plastic and uh, maybe you guessed already it's new BF109 G6 from Edward. This time <coughs> review will be a bit more interesting because we have all the sprues here. We have also accessories available for this model and what else? We have a chance to check everything a bit closer. So I would like to begin from accessories because I will write about them in a separate article and I will also shoot a separate video with them so I would just show external packaging I would say how you would see them on the shelves of the shops so let's move kit a bit aside for a moment so we have here a nice small box with guess what it's engine for BF109 G6, it's brassine engine and it's supplied in this traditional box and it's sealed so you would see it in separate video so that's a brassine box with engine that's another brassine box with BF109 G6 cockpit and as you can see it's for OG versions and it's also packed in the same box also resin, also brassine so we will see uh, another interesting thing it's WGR21 for BF109 obviously and it's those are famous German rockets as you can see you can see on even here the molding quality and how it's detailed you have here also P parts don't worry, you would see them in a separate article and separate video, I would just remind. And what else? Here we have wheels. Also really good addition. You can see them here. And what else? Of course two pieces, of course masks are supplied for painting, so you don't have to worry that they are built as a single part. And the last one, but not the least one, as they say, it's BF109 cannon pots. Also very good quality. And also with some PE parts. So, that's pretty much all. But, um, manufacturer mentioned that there would be other upgrades for this model, so... Let's wait, maybe we would see this bronze wax or winding gears or maybe something else. <clears throat> now let's move to the kit itself. And the first sprue we would check is a clear sprue and you can see here the quality. You've seen it already in a separate video but let's check it once more. Nice quality, you have this fuel line which is much better than previous analogs, even from Hasegawa. And what's else? You can see the quality is good. By the way, uh, regarding this Hasegawa kit, uh, a lot of, I would say, specialists in BF109 already mentioned their opinions that it's really good kit and it's much much better than previous alternatives and now you don't have a better kit on the market. So you can guess what you have to buy if you want to build a Messer Schmidt. Here we have a sprue with wing parts. Again nice molding quality recess panel lines, all those riveting done really nicely. All Mechanization parts are separate, as you can see, flaps, ailerons, everything. And also, what else? On the inside, you have some detailization for the wheel wells. I would zoom it a bit. So, here you are. It's really nice. I mean, that's how modern kit should look like. Really thorough attention to the small parts and small details. Here is a fuselage hubs. <coughs> also nice rivet and nice molding lines. And on the inside we have some basic cockpit detailization. 
one here as well. Don't forget that it's profit pack kit, so you would decorate, let's say, it with P parts. As you can see, colon is done as a separate part. The exhaust will be slided in from the inside. And there are several reasons for, the, for this solution, I would say. What else? Several types of the fin, several types of the... Here you don't have them, but there are also several types of different parts for different versions. So, we move to the sprue, which wasn't mentioned in the previous articles. It's... Um, I think it's I sprue, right? Yeah, I think so. So, we zoom it out a bit. And here you have it. Now let's zoom it in. So, here we have elevators, uh, air intakes, exhausts. Exhausts are molded really beautifully because, as you can see, they're really nice. By the way, maybe we would have pressing exhaust as well. We would see. Uh, wind fins. What else? Um, under wind cannon pots are given in plastic as well, so you don't have to worry if you can't buy the brushing set, but you can have this nice plastic parts as well. And that's pretty much all, I think. Aha! Uh -huh. You also have this... Uh, I think it's trench a bit, but... You have this one exhaust which is molded under cover. And here you have it. Okay. Next. Next is a sprue which contains three types of propellers. Yes, three types for different versions. Underbelly tank, uh, several types of wheels, uh, which are done in this uh, new design with separate wheel hubs and separate tires. Also cockpit base plate. We zoom it in, we focus the camera and now you see it. Uh, dashboard, but you don't need this because you have a profit pack kit, so you have a P parts inside. Some wheel wells parts, and what else? Well, look on this nice detailization. I mentioned it already, but let's look again. You see it. So, we move on, and we have this nice masks for clear parts. I think there is no need to unpack them, because it's obvious what they do, and what they are intended for. Uh, then we move on and we have this nice P thread, which is only one in this kit, but it contains almost all necessary parts for cockpit, for external detailization, for almost for everything. So you have these belts, you have dashboard, you have meshes. Nice. The only thing which I would like to mention is the color of the dashboard, because it's a bit different from traditional cockpit cover in German aircraft, so you would have to solve this problem. Then you have this uh, decal sheet with symbols for marking options included in this kit. It's printed in cartograph, so you can guess the quality is really good. You have this, even this dashboard made as a decal. And what else? You have even spinner decal, so it's really nice. But that's not all, and we have the second sheet with decals, which is intended for stencils. It is printed in edder, but quality is no different from cartograph, I would say. So you have sh sharp letters, right colors, everything is nice. And of course, in every kit, in every profi pack kit, you have this nice colored manual. with detailed instructions on how to assemble this model and also marking options guides there are one, two, three, four, five of them and also stencil guide so it's really nice 
Overall, as I mentioned already, it's uh, best BF109 G6 kit. I know it sounds a bit, I would say, uh, perfect maybe, but you don't have a equal alternative on the market and if you want to build a really nice model you have to choose this kit and I would recommend it personally. Uh, anyway, check the full article on our website and see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and Facebook group. Bye.